Hey guys, what is up? It's Mika here, and today we're going to be doing the part 2 of the spy game that I um, made last time. And a lot of you guys love the episode, so I am doing a part 2. And what you guys didn't seem to like was that I took a really long time drawing the sprite. So I just went ahead and drew it, I drew it right here. I do have another episode on pixel art, so you can go ahead and just check that out if you want tips and stuff. But all I did, I just created a walking animation. So as you can see with his feet right over here, he just walks. And there's just a bit of code that I added just to make that work. But I'll just do that in front of you guys. So first of all, um, you're gonna have to scale your zombie however you want it to, uh, however big you want it to be. I shrunk this and I shrunk uh, the bullet too, just so that it looks nicer, but it's pretty similar. Um, and that's what we had from last time. So I just made the costume and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do forever. I'm gonna draw a wait, uh, whatever amount of seconds. I'm gonna make that 0.1 or maybe we'll change that. And then I'll just do a uh, next costume. Now I might not like how this looks, so I might just start it off with just one, but we'll just go ahead and just um, see how it looks right off the bat. Okay, so we're gonna make this to costume one and I don't think it looks that bad. I think we might want to make it a little bit um, smoother. So 0 0.01, uh, that looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the costume alone here and we're gonna get to the code. So what I'm planning to have is having these zombies coming from all four sides and you'd have to um, use your guy and just shoot him and use your spy. And they would be coming from all four sides. So this, this here and here. And they would be in a random location, so random Y here, random X here, random Y here, and random X here. Um, I don't want to explain it more so that we can just get ahead and just do some more scripts. But yeah, that's the basics. I'm going to first just name this, um, we're going to put this here. That's what I always like to do, and we're going to name this Zombie. So we're going to be using clones as I did with our bullet. And it's a neat feature that they added in 2.0, so we're going to go ahead and just take advantage of that um now we will be adding more things later like maybe a shield or maybe some type of turret that's obviously in future parts but right right now we're just gonna get the zombie done so our first step is we're gonna ignore this piece of code and i have found that i like working in many when flag clicked so that it just looks more organized so when flag clicked we are going to forever wait this many seconds and then create a clone of myself. This will be the zombie, obviously, that's gonna be attacking the spy. And how it's gonna be attacking, it's just gonna be falling, so it's slowly just gonna go here and here. We'll off this so that it just turns off. We're gonna make a variable for how short um, it's gonna be so we can increase the, um, the difficulty. So we're gonna do wait in between uh, zombies and we're gonna whoops we're gonna set that to maybe four at the start so every uh or we'll set it to three every three seconds it's gonna create a clone of myself now the next step is to make a when i start as clone what we're actually gonna do is we're going to we don't know which side we want to go to so we're gonna need some random so it's gonna be between one and four and this is gonna be zombie side let's make it that so we're gonna set zombie side to a random number between one and four, and this is gonna decide the um, the different sides that it's gonna be on. So uh, pick random from one, two, four. So this should be one, two, three, four, if I'm not mistaken. And we can go ahead and move, just move these up so they don't look odd. And before we do any of that, I'm actually just gonna add a show so that it shows when I start as a clone and in one of the corners and then i'm going to hide the actual the spawner i guess you could say or the actual uh sprite but now that we have these all i'm going to do is i'm going to drag in an if so if zombie side 
equals one, we're gonna make it the top, uh, etc. So if zombie side equals one, you're gonna say go to, so that's gonna be in motion, go to an X that's, let's make one the top, and then two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. And uh, before I want, I don't wanna get confused, so we're just gonna actually draw this. So this is what I do a lot, um, just so that I don't get mixed up, and then later be confused when I'm messing up. So this is gonna be three. Obviously this is gonna be temporary, but yeah. So now we have those four. We're gonna set uh, two. So the Y is gonna actually be 180, which is at the top of the screen. The X is gonna be random. So we're gonna pick a random between uh, negative 240 and 240, which is gonna be uh, this side to, so this side to this side. So it's gonna uh, be negative 240 and 240 here. So two is gonna be the right, so we're just gonna duplicate this because might as well, we don't need to do it again. We can just change this to two instead of one. And then instead of choosing a random X and making the Y constant, which means that's gonna be the same, what we do is we actually make the X the constant, which again is the same, and we're gonna make the Y random. So the X is gonna be on the very right side of the screen, which is uh, 240X. And if you don't know uh, how to like see where your mouse is, so right here, you could see the X. It's actually right here, this is a little life hack. It's pretty obvious, but if you guys didn't know, yeah, that, there, there, that's exactly where it is. So the X, we're gonna make that um, 240, as I said. And then this time, it's gonna be random in the Y. So it's gonna be 182, negative 180, which is the top to the bottom, if you guys didn't know that. Um, yeah, so it's 18, it's a 360, um, in the Y, uh, 300 pixels wide, uh, tall, sorry. Yeah, 360 pixels tall and 480 pixels wide, yeah. So now we are now we have the uh, the right. So we should just test this out, let's see if it works. It won't move, it won't do anything, but we can just see if it works, so. Um, why did that spawn there? When I started clone set, oh yeah, okay. Um, here it is. Here, there's another one over there. I think that was just the stationary one. Yeah, there's another one over there. There should be one like two anytime soon, if that works. Well, I think a lot of the time it's going only between one and four, not two, yeah. So we can see that this side works. Now, what we wanna do next is we wanna make the three and four. So we duplicate this so that we have four different ifs. We start off with three here and four here. And three is the bottom right here. So we're gonna make the X uh, the variable, so it can be random. And we're gonna make the Y the constant. So uh, for three, the X is gonna be between um, negative 240 and uh, 240, and the Y is just gonna be negative 20. So we basically have that, but now we just need to change a couple of things. So for four, which is on the very left, um, it's the X is gonna be constant and the Y is gonna be random. So we all, we already have the Y being random between negative 180 and 180, but the X also has to um, be uh, negative 240, so that it's on the left side of the screen. So if we tried this right now, it should work. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, hide the variables so you can just uncheck these two. I hide all of them, but yeah. And all of them should be working right now. So as you can see, um, every three seconds, it should spawn another zombie. We could change this to 0.1 seconds, and that will just spawn one every 0.1 seconds. And as you can see, this, uh, uh, the, cr the screen is just getting crowded with zombies. But my point is that this variable controls the amount of zombies you're gonna be seeing. So we haven't added any code to their attack function, which is what I'm gonna do next. So I'm gonna set this back to three, and we don't need a forever around this if because it's gonna be checking right after. But now we have the location. So we're gonna say repeat until, if I can find that, repeat until after you've picked your location, you're gonna repeat until, we're gonna drag it in or because we need two different, um, two different, uh, different options of what can happen before the code runs. So 
if touching edge, if, if I can put that ore in here. Uh, yeah, let's make this smaller, just for now. Because we're gonna be doing the code right now and we're not gonna be seeing the game. So if you touch the mouse pointer or if you are touching, um, sorry, not the mouse pointer, if you're touching the edge or you're touching the uh, sp spy, or we might need we might need another ore. We're actually gonna put the bullet because if you're touched by all three, different things will happen. But we'll do the code of that later of what will happen if it's the bullet, whether it's a score will go up or you increase a life or anything like that. And then the spy, you will lose a life. But uh, for now, we're just gonna make it point towards um, our sp spy. Uh, because we want to follow that. We just want to move 10 steps. So this uh, this zombie won't actually be spinning like that and it won't be using any of these blocks. It won't be like um, rotating uh, because we set this right here. So I haven't really explained that, but this will mean that, um, here, let's go ahead and just try this for a sec and just full screen that, okay? Um, oh, what's happening? Um, repeat until touching edge. Oh, because it's already touching edge, okay. So what this means is that um, the it's already touching the edge when it starts, as you can see, right? So it's already gonna stop. Um, well, first of all, we can just delete the clone after because there's nothing, there's no use for this clone after it touches any of those things. But, um, so now there's gonna be no zombies because it's always gonna be touching the edge. Now, the way to fix this, I would assume, would be to start off where just to start off so that it's not touching the edge so what i'm gonna have to do sadly i don't really want to do this is we're just going to show this so i can get a perspective um go to uh just show and so i can just handle the sprite without it running so our sprite is right here right now uh we'll just make this bigger because we kind of need to use it i'll clean this up which is what i like to do a lot and we'll see so right now it's spawning right here uh or right here and it's touching the edge but we want it to spawn somewhere near so one let's just see one the y has to be hmm, the y of this will have to be 141 so one the 141 if we know that we know this has to be negative 141 and then the right and the left it would have to be Let's see. It would have to be uh, right here, as you can see. It says the X is negative 226. So negative 226 or 226, which is gonna be the other side. So the corner still won't work and um, and the top and the down, but we'll just see if it works uh, just a bit better. So it's gonna wait three seconds. Yeah, that works uh, pretty nice. It's, um, it's, you can see it's going very fast, so we can always change that. But um, also in our clone, we're not actually doing this. So what we wanna do is instead of using any of this, we could just do when I start as clone because that's the actual zombie. So right here. And now that should, uh, that should actually look pretty cool. So it looks like the zombie is walking right toward the spy. And later on, um, we can see that the zombie even just kills it. So it's pretty cool so far. I think it's a pretty nice game. Obviously, there are some big bugs to fix because, um, for example, uh, let's look at this for a sec. So if we show this, let's say uh, zombie side is gonna be equivalent to one. Okay, so one, it should go to the top, right? So it should go anywhere here, but what if, see the X is saying that it could go negative 240 to 240, so what if it goes right here? According to that, that should be negative 240 to 240, and the Y should be, uh, well, less than 141, which is 136, so the Y should work, but and the X should work. But as you can see, it's already touching the edge, right? It's past the edge. So what we're gonna do to fix this is just make this negative 226, which is the number we found before. So negative 226 to 226. We can change this to negative 141 to 141. And then we can also do negative 226 
to um, whoops, negative 226 to 226. And the last one for side four is negative 141 to one uh, to positive 141. So um, it will never be touching the edge. But what I don't like about this game right now is that it looks like it doesn't look gradual. Like it just randomly spawns there, right? I kind of wanted it so that I'd glide in from the like um, outside the edges of the screen. But what I can do to fix that is just use the ghost effect so it's not so sudden. You don't have to do this, but this is what I'm gonna do. So clean this up once again. We're gonna use a um, when I start its clone. We're gonna set our ghost effect, which would be right here. Set our ghost effect to 100, okay? So this will make it so that it looks completely hidden. It's not the same as a hide because the hide means that it's not functioning. While, uh, or sorry, it's not showing. While the ghost can be changed. So it can have a opacity, which means like uh, the a ghostness, I guess you could say, which of 50. So it'll be half transparent and half showing. So it'll be in that zone where it's kind of transparent. Um, so we're gonna start off with a 100. We're gonna do a repeat 10 times, and we want to get to zero, so we're gonna change our ghost effect by negative 10. So this will go all the way to zero. So let's try this out, and let's just see what happens. We'll save this first. So as you can see, it looks kind of gradual. I think it looks pretty cool how it just fades in from the edge. So you can see that it just looks like that. Now our game is a bit laggy. That's just a scratch interface. Obviously, that's because we are in the um, process of making it and going through the scripts. But once we actually share this, which you guys are gonna do, and we can see the project page, which is this, it's not gonna be as laggy. So, so it's not gonna be as laggy. Uh, I think the ghost effect is pretty nice. If you want, you can make it a little bit slower. Uh, I mean, faster, by being 20 and negative five. But the only thing must be that this number, right here, the repeat number, times the ghost effect, the amount it's changing into the negative to go um, to zero, has to, the product has to be 100. So if whether it's 20 and negative five, whether it's 10 and 10, whether it's 50 and two, whether it's two and 50, which would be, uh, which would be very fast, whether it's, um, 25 and 4, 4 and 25, so on and so forth. You understand, it's pretty basic math, so you guys should be able to get that. But, um, again, in all my videos, I say if you guys have any questions, go ahead and just uh, ask me. Also, you can link the game, which uh, I haven't mentioned before. You can link the game of your Scratch game, just share it and link it to me, and I will see what's up, and I'll I'll, um, I'll shoot you a comment right back, because I do respond to all of those. And um, I'll tell you guys what you're doing wrong and what looks good about it, what also looks bad about it. But um, yeah, so we have the zombie working here and we don't have any of the programs uh, including. So as you can see, um, we don't have any of the pro programs for like the lives and stuff. But you, as you can see, you can actually gain a whole bunch. And we just like, uh, we just uh, headshotted four of them in just a second. So we can gather a whole bunch if I can seem to dodge them. Or even if I hit them, nothing will happen. But in the actual game, you have to dodge them. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. If you guys had any questions, then go ahead and just leave a comment below. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and just thumbs up uh, the video. Make sure to say subscribe for part three so you guys can stay updated on the newest videos of my channel. And thanks for watching.